Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. It is not my birthday, but I thought this week I would recreate and do a full tutorial on my birthday makeup look that I did back in December. And this makeup look was originally inspired by Hailey Bieber. I'm gonna just pop the photo right over here. I feel like it turned out pretty similar. I did my own take on it, but I just wanted to recreate this look. I thought it was absolutely stunning and just like the perfect birthday glam look. Skincare is already done. I'm gonna jump right into priming my skin. Today I'm gonna prime with the Vanish Primer from Hourglass. So this is like a really nice glowy primer, but it makes your skin look glowy without making it too shiny. It's called Vanish for a reason. It makes all of your imperfections vanish underneath of your makeup, but grips and locks your makeup into place all day long or for a long night. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Concealer. This is color Silk. It's a little light for me. I haven't tanned my body in a while. <laughs> I really need to do that. I'm going to Cabo on Saturday, which I'm really excited about. I've never been and I need to definitely tan my body. Okay, just popping concealer in the spots that I want to conceal, any sort of like breakout. And I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass brush. I swear this isn't sponsored by Hourglass. I just love their stuff so much. And I'm gonna just blend that in a little bit, just kind of start patting that into the skin. Like I said, this is a very, light shade for me, but I'm gonna go over it with a darker foundation that blends with my skin tone. One of my favorite concealers ever. Sometimes I'll use this instead of foundation and I'll just do contour and bronzer to kind of bronze it up a little bit. Okay, for foundation today, I'm going to use the NARS Luminous Silk. This foundation, ugh, I love it so much. It's a really nice sheer coverage with a glowy base, which I love, especially if you're doing more glam on the eyes. I think that it's nice to have just like a subtle base, nothing too cakey, making it look natural on the skin. I'm going to just apply it in little dots all over the skin, and then I will blend it in with a brush after. And look at that coverage, it's so beautiful. You can still see the texture on your skin, which I love. I used to do the heaviest, thickest foundation every single day. And I think back to those days, like what was I thinking? I feel like it's just too harsh now. And if I have breakouts and stuff like that, I try to just use like a nice concealer instead of covering all of my skin. So yeah, I'm going to Cabo in two days, very last minute. One of my really good friends, Emma, is there with her friend, Veronica, and today they were like, hey, do you wanna come out and just come hang in Cabo for a few days? And I said, I do, I do wanna go actually. And flights were $75, so I booked it right away. I was like, you know what? I'll definitely be doing a get ready with me there. Last week I used the chubby stick, but this week I'm gonna go in with the classic contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This stuff is almost out. And I'm just gonna contour each part of my face. I'm gonna blend as I go because if I let this dry for too long on my skin, you can definitely tell. So I'm just gonna do each section of my face. So when you contour your face, you wanna make sure that it's hitting for your face and not just like following a trend of like wear a contour. So when you suck in like that, you can tell where you need to contour and where you need to enhance versus like contouring too high or contouring too low. I can see where my face wants to be contoured. And then I just blend it in. This is the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Foundation Brush. And I love this brush for contour. It blends really beautifully. Dying to try the Peach Gasm blush as well. I'm gonna contour the nose just a little bit. And I'm gonna do it on the eyelids too and make a nice little base. And then I'm gonna go in on the jaw. Want to make sure we have a nice snatched jawline. 
If you're wearing a tank top and you're not tan and you wanna bronze your body really quickly, I highly recommend using the iconic um, London Radiance Booster. You can use it as a primer underneath your makeup, but I like to use it for my body to get that extra glow as well especially if you're going out at night, taking some flash photos. I'm gonna go ahead and powder my T-zone with my favorite Derma Blend setting powder. This stuff just locks everything that I've done in place and keeps everything matte in the T-zone. And you can bake with this too, like I'll put it everywhere. But while I finish the rest of my face, I wanna make sure that I'm matte in the T-zone so I can stay glowy in this area and then matte in the T-zone. On my birthday, my outfit was red, and this is a little controversial, but I'm gonna use a bright red blush stick. It's literally this color. This is what I used on my birthday. It looks really nice on the skin, let me show you. So what you do is you take a brush, I use my little hourglass brush, and then you just kind of start dabbing it onto the skin like that and it creates a really beautiful flushed so pink little on the nose so pretty i love the way that this looks i have this blush in so many colors and one of my friends actually introduced me to the red. I'm interested to see what this would look like on a darker complexion too. I feel like it would look really beautiful. I'm going to also take my favorite Hourglass palette. This is the Ambient palette. And I like to mix all of these colors here. Just kind of set that in place. Like that. And it adds a really nice glow. And just keeps everything in place. Whenever I use cream products, I try to set them with a powder on top. For bronzer, I'm going to take the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in number two. Bronze up my skin a little more. Kind of go on top of the contour. I want to look extra tan and sun-kissed. Moving on to brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Um, I have been obsessed with this stuff for a while now. <laughs> I've been using it in every single video over the past three videos, I think, but I just can't stop using it. I'm so addicted to it. I don't know if I can ever go back to anything else. It just really freezes my brows in place like no other product. I also love the Refi Brow Sculpt, but this one I've been so addicted to. I can't stop using it and you can really shape your brows in whatever motion you want you could basically stick them straight up if you wanted to or you can lay them more flat whatever your personal preference is because some people don't love a really brush up brow i personally do i love like a wispy brow i'm gonna let those dry for a minute and get started on my eye makeup i'm gonna start off and do a little base with the bobby brown Longwear cream shadow stick this color is sand dune and i like to just kind of contour my eyes with it before i start with eyeshadow just because it creates a nice base i'm obsessed with these things just add a little definition in underneath and around the eye. And then I'll just kind of like blend it out just a little bit. Like if you're a beginner, I highly recommend these shadow sticks because they're just so simple and easy to use. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, there's a lot of peach going on on the eyes, so I'm going to use this really beautiful peach color from this palette. This is the Lady Liberty eyeshadow palette from M2U NYC. It's completely vegan and cruelty free, and I really loved this peach. I thought that it was pretty accurate to the color in the photo. So I'm just going to start spreading this on the eyelid, just like that, laying that down. Gonna bring it underneath of the lid just a little bit. I 
And then I'm gonna take this lighter shade right here and put this underneath the brow bone and add a little highlight. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm thinking this look needs a little bit more brown shading in the crease. So I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario palette. This is the matte, nude mattes palette. And I'm just going to kind of shade a little bit just right underneath of that highlight, just to create a little bit more definition and lift on the eyes. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Adding a little bit more peach. I'm gonna go back in with this lighter shade again that I used on my brows and start setting the front of my eye with that and kind of just cutting right there because we're gonna add a nice little sparkle there in a second. So pretty. And that just made the lid look so big. This is the Master Crystal Reflector from Makeup by Mario in Quartz. This is the product that is going to bring this look to life. It is so beautiful on. It's technically a highlighter. I'm gonna use this on the eyes today and just start packing that in the front of my eyes like that. I love this stuff so much. It is so beautiful. Okay, you can see. Just like that. Just like a very subtle glitter. I applied it with a flat brush because it has less fallout that way. You can also apply it with your finger, which I highly recommend, which I'm going to do as well. Yes, that looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna play with three liners in this look. You can see that there's a little bit of a blue, bluish teal color going on, and then obviously a beautiful black wing. So I'm going to start by lining my lash line with this black gel liner from Marc Jacobs and just start creating that definition on the lash line. And I kind of want it to get on my top lid a little bit because I'm going to smudge it out. Now I'm going to smudge it out with this smudge brush. This is from Sephora. I'm gonna go in with a felt tip black liner and I'm gonna do a nice little wing. This is from Sigma. the hardest part of any makeup look for sure. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go in with this light blue liner from Marc Jacobs and just kind of go on the bottom lash line, just a little bit in the center and a little bit on the top. And you don't have to use a blue liner, you can use purple, you can use whatever color you think complements your eyes the best. And you don't even have to do the blue liner, you can just do like the peachy kind of glittery look. For mascara, I'm going to use the Dior Show Mascara. It just is such a good mascara. It just adds so much volume and length. I'm actually going to use some lashes. These are from Lash Star. I'm going to cut them because they're a little too big. I want to cut them in half and just apply them on the outer corners just to elongate the eye. So on my birthday, I didn't use these lashes. I used the, um, I think it's called Rem, which is from Ariana Grande, her new lashes. I used those and those were really, really pretty, but I threw them away the night of my birthday. So I'm going to use these today. Okay, one eye is done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera, not take too much time, and I'll be right back. Okay, the eyes are done. They look so good. I'm obsessed with the way the lashes make the eyes look. They really just lift the eyes, and then this glitter is everything. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. The Gucci eyebrow pencil, this one is really good. It works so well. It has a very small tip in the front and kind of a thicker tip towards the back. So you can be as precise as you need. So I like to just fill it in pretty straight across. 
I want the brows to be pretty natural looking still. I just do this for like an overall color. Okay, so after I fill in with the Gucci, I like to go in with my Refi brow pencil and fill in the front with this because it's really precise and it really gets those hair-like strokes, which I love, just like that. And then I'll go back in and do a few freckles. I always like to do this because I feel like it makes it look like you're not wearing any foundation. I need to repowder around the nose. Okay, I'm going to do the Dibs Lip Duo pencil and I think this is color two on my lips. I want to do a pretty nude look, so I'm just going to overline my lips with this. I actually decided I wanted to switch to my lip liner that I just launched with Pietra. It's from a brand new lip kit launch that I just launched for the holidays which I am obsessed with. It comes with three lip liners and this is one of the colors. Lip liner is done. I'm gonna use the Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline. I am obsessed with this. It smells so good. This is color 260 Hazelnut. It's a really pretty nude. Oops, it just fell on the floor matte lip it's on the brown side but it really matches the eyes and then i like to go over it with and then i like to go over it with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk gloss just to add a nice little gloss on top of the matte and this one is a little bit more pink so it blends really beautifully with the two colors that I used. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the look with the setting spray from Urban Decay. You guys all know I love this. It is the all nighter spray. Just make sure that every everything stays in place all night. So here is the final makeup look super pretty nice and nude it's perfect for a holiday for a birthday for any occasion okay so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys liked this video i went ahead and linked all the products that i used below if you want to shop anything that I used in the video and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.